What's happening, Missouri Nation? Jason Shepard here on this video. I'm going to show you slow flight three ways. M0A, what's happening? Hey, Jason here. Slow flight, three ways in this video. Before we get to that, make sure you uh, subscribe here on YouTube. Uh, like us on Facebook as well. If you love these videos, if you love my teaching style, you're going to love the M0A online ground school as well. Private instrument, commercial, FOI, written test prep, check ride prep, make you a safe real world pilot. You can check it out down below. Take a trial of it down below as well. I'm going to show you slow flight three ways here today. We are going to baby in the flaps in one instance. We're going to dump in the flaps in another instance. And then we're going to do a clean to dirty transition as well. Before we do all that, though, what do we have to do? Our clearing turns. You're so smart. Let's head over this way. Let's knock out our clearing turns. Hey, why do we always do clearing turns? The left here first. If you watched last week's video on steep turns, you know because we're being overtaken. Someone should pass us from behind on the right-hand side. When you're doing clearing turns, you're looking up. You're looking down below, you're looking all around. I know we're spoiled with ADSB and everything else, but I can't rely totally on that. Who's ever seen an aircraft outside that wasn't on ADSB? Um, it happens sometimes. Uh, we're going to keep this coming around. It's hard not to look at how pretty it is outside as well. And we're going to knock this out. We're going to hold this heading here. And I'm going to show you slow flight first by babying in the flaps. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn our carburetor heat on. And I need you to remember this statement. I pitch for airspeed. I power for altitude. I'm going to bring a little bit of power back before I start increasing my pitch. I'm going to bring a little bit of power back. Just a little bit. I'm within 110. I'm going to pick my nose up just a hair. I'm going to add my first notch of flaps. One, two, three. I just got to count, but adding in my first notch of flaps. All right. Holding that there, life's looking good, getting slower. All right, next notch of flaps. I am babying my flaps. Notice my hands are going from my flap handle back to my throttle. Next notch. I'm getting ready where I might be in a position where I might need to add some power here as well. Because remember, first sign of a stall. That could be buffeting, that could be the stall warning horn, whatever that is here. So I'm adding some. Remember how I love trim as well. Here comes full flaps. Remember how I love trim. I've got 2,100 RPMs in here almost. I'm trimmed up. I've babied my flaps in. If I started climbing right now, what would I do? I would take out a little bit of power. If I start descending right now, what would I would do? I'd give it a little bit of power. Can I do turns in slow flight? Absolutely, but remember my ailerons, look at these guys. Woo, they're not doing a whole lot out there, are they? Let's baby our way. Let's do a big left 180 degree turn. Just baby our way around. Just like we babied our flaps in, we baby our way around in a turn. Now, the ACS gives us four risk management areas to focus on. Inadvertent slow flight uh, with a stall warning, which could lead to a loss of control. Uh, range and limitations of that stall warning indicator, by the way. Uh, it, it's a stall indication. It could be the warning horn. It could be a buffet. It could be any of those things. Uh, failure to maintain coordinated flight, effect of environmental elements like aircraft performance, that's turbulence, microburst, density, altitude, collision hazards then, uh, other aircraft, I'm looking outside, right, terrain, obstacles, wires, and distractions, that loss of situational awareness or just improper risk management as well. This is still an outside maneuver. It's, it's great to look inside, go, oh, your vertical speed, oh, that looks great, whatever it is. This is still an outside maneuver. So I'm going to roll out here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a full recovery, okay? Car beat comes in. I give it full power. I'm going to have to push that nose forward a little bit, not only because of the flaps, because of the trim I put in there. Don't bother trimming it up just yet unless it's too heavy for you. And work your flaps out. Just like you babied your flaps in, in this case, baby them out. I've got 10 degrees out. Through 70, next notch. Pause the rate of climber level. Flaps up and out. Very similar to a go around. Now that same trim I added, watch this. It's now hurting me, right? So you trim, and don't even bother trimming now while you're at full power. You're trimming for an airspeed. You're trimming for a pitch attitude. So get back to cruise flight, where you want to be cruise flight wise, and then trim. A lot of people, I, I can do a whole video on this, a lot of people make the mistake of going, oh, the nose is going up, so they, they trim down. Put the airplane where you want it, level flight, 
and then trim to relieve the pressure. But get your power setting right first. You're trimming. If I adjust my power right now, if I went full power, watch. Right? What's the nose going to want to do? It's starting to climb. I could, I could trim to have level flight full power. Push the nose forward, a little nose down trim. And I can, I can at any airspeed, but when I change airspeeds like that, I'm going to need to re-trim. Okay, so we got that. Now, we're going to dump in the flaps this time. Now, the ACS just says, hey, slow flight, clean, and dirty. It doesn't care how you get flaps in or anything along those lines. So we're going to do it again here. Car beat. Power back. When I say power back, uh, 2,000 RPMs. A run-up RPM might be a little bit too light. And this time, I'm just going to dump the flaps all the way in. You can do this, but you got to be ready. you got to be quick. There go all my flaps. I'm pushing that nose forward. Hand right back to the throttle because I need some power. Now, there's a big problem when you do this. What do flaps have a tendency to make you do? Balloon up. So you've got to be ready to push that nose forward if you choose to go that route. I recommend baby the flaps in. No one needs to be a hero. It takes a lot of skill to be able to dump those flaps in, push that nose forward, adjust your power. By the way, I still need to trim my airplane and everything else. It's challenging to do it that way. Let's go ahead and recover, and I want to show you one more here. So Carby goes in, full power. I know I dumped my flaps in, but I still baby them out, again, just like a go-around. So I'm going to baby my flaps on out here. Baby my flaps on out. Pause rate of climb, or zero, up and out. Back to cruise flight, and retrim my airplane. If you haven't gathered it yet, I love trim. What we, what we call trim in last week's video? A poor man's autopilot. If you haven't watched last week's video, you need to. All right. Now we're going to transition. I love to do this with students. Transition from clean slow flight to dirty slow flight. You ready? So watch this. We're going to go ahead. We're going to make car feet on. Flaps are going to stay up. We're going to enter into clean slow flight. Clean slow flight meaning no flaps. So I'm going to baby back this time to about a run-up RPM. Holding level flight for now. Picking that nose up just a little bit now. Increase that angle of attack. Looking good, looking good. Try not to climb, just holding this here. Give it some trim now. Relieving some of that control pressure. Because realistically, this is how I want you to fly slow flight. Not literally like this, don't do that. Fly the airplane. But I want you to be able to be as hands-free as you can. And not have to worry, well, there we go. Not have to worry about anything. Now here's what I want you to do. You're in clean, slow flight. That's awesome. I want you to now baby in the flaps. Let me show you this. You ready? Give it 10 degrees. What's the nose want to do? It wants to come up, so fight it. Push that nose forward a little bit. You might have to give it a little bit of power. Next notch of flaps. Push that nose forward. You might have to give it a little bit more power. Watch what's happening on your instrumentation. I can take some trim out now. Next notch of flaps. I have 40 degrees of flaps. Two through my Zulu, by the way. I can take some trim out, full flaps, and get it level flight. Transition from clean to dirty slow flight without changing. Now give yourself a turn. Make it a right turn so it's a more challenging turn, right? When you're trimmed up, life is easy. It comes around so much nicer. Why do we practice slow flight? To get better at our landings, honestly. The main reason we practice slow flight is to improve and get better at our landings. Actually, the Airplane Flying Handbook says the objective of maneuvering in slow flight is to develop the pilot's ability to fly at low air speeds and high angle of attacks right before I land, essentially is what it's talking about here. So I love my technique of slow flight down the runway. Not, it's not my technique, but doing slow flight down the runway. Hey, I hope you are loving these videos. I hope you're loving uh, not just this channel, but uh, I hope you're loving the online ground school. If you're in there, if not, check it out, m0atrial.com. Check that out and learn more. Have a blessed, abundant, outstanding rest of your day. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. Like us on Facebook. And most importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning every day, everybody. We'll see you.